Hello students, welcome back to Tuition Masters and today we are here with our part 1 for math sample paper solutions uh, for grade 10. So as you all know CBSE has uploaded the official uh, sample papers for all the subjects right uh, on their official website. I've created a short on the same for uh, telling uh, the thing so you can refer to that make sure you study this because these questions are based on your board exams which are this year isn't it so that's why today this is a part one we are going to discuss the section a okay section a of the paper solution and uh, remaining sections we'll do it in the upcoming videos so let's start so first uh, let me give an introduction how what is the paper pattern over here so the que this question paper it will have uh, five sections a b c d e so first section section a which we are going to do today it has mcqs only 20 mcqs one mark each now it's not that it's mcq you can do roughly anything just choose a b c d e roll a dice and do it no not you can't work that way you have to solve each and every question because this questions i have solved it so that's why i can understand you cannot do it just by you know hit and trial method you have to do very carefully each and every Section B, five questions, two marks each. Uh, C, uh, all the uh, B, C, D, E are, uh, you know, uh, subjective questions. Now, C has six questions, three marks, four questions, five marks each. Okay. Now, section E is a case-based question where you will be given a case study. You have to solve it. Okay. Internal choices are also given in subjective questions. All right. And uh, wherever diagrams are necessary, we should draw good diagrams. And for pi, we can take 22 by 7 wherever required. Okay. Now, uh, let's start the sample paper. Today, uh, we are going to do section A only. Next videos, we'll do the remaining sections also. Okay. So, let's start. Our first question is, let A and B, okay, one more thing, students. this uh, sample paper is not based on 1, 2, 3, 4 chapters, it's based on each and every chapter from your NCRT book, isn't it? So, I know I haven't prepared all of this video, but yes, you can study the, uh, this and I'll be coming up soon with the chapter videos too, okay. So, here is, let A and B be two positive integers such that a is equal to p cube uh, p cube q raised to 4 and b is equal to p square q cube where p and q are prime numbers if hcf of a into b is uh, sorry if F, uh, hcf of a b is equal to p raised to m and q raised to n and lcm a comma b is equal to p raised to r q raised to s then we have to find the value of m plus n r plus s look uh, looks like complicated but it's easy so let's write our numbers first what numbers are given numbers are given a that is p cube uh, uh, sorry p cube q raised to 4 right and what is given as b b is given as p square q raised to 3 that is q cube isn't it now hcf will be what hcf will be what we have to write the high uh, the uh, common power common power which will be the lowest okay the lowest common power we have to write which is the lowest common power 2 here and 3 here so i'll write it as uh, p square q cube that will be my hcf now lcm will be what lcm will be the highest common power highest common power is what here is 3 here is 4 so i'll write it as p raised to 3 q raised to 4 okay now what is it in the form of uh lcm uh, sorry hcf is p m q n so this becomes my m this becomes my n okay so m equals to 2 n equals to 3 now uh, next one is r s so this is r this is s so r becomes 3 s becomes 4 so calculate this what is addition uh 2 plus 3 gives me 5 and uh, this 4 plus 3 gives me 7 F 5 into 7 is equals to 35 that is option number c so c is your correct answer for the first question okay next question is let p be a prime number the quadratic equation having its roots as factors of p is so you have to find the roots of your so now p is given students it is a prime number okay it's a prime number for example uh, I, i'll give you example of uh three three is a prime number what will be the factors 3 and 1? So, similarly, what will be the factors of P and uh, what will be the factor of P? It will be P and 1. 
obviously let's give them variables as per your this is in quadratic expressions your polynomials let's say that p is alpha and uh, 1 is beta all right now you have studied that alpha plus beta will give me the sum of the factors that is p plus 1 correct and alpha multiplied by beta will give me p into 1 that is p now if I write it in the standard form, that will be x square minus alpha plus beta, correct, multiplied by x plus alpha beta. That is how what my standard form is. Now, just simply put the values. x square minus alpha plus beta is p plus 1 multiplied by x and plus alpha beta is p. That gives me 0. You can write it. So, what is this? Which option is matching here? Uh, x square plus yeah this is the matching one so option is b option number b is the correct answer okay next question if alpha and beta are the zeros of polynomial f in f of x is equal to p x square minus 2x plus 3p and alpha plus beta is equal to alpha into beta then p is what okay now see this what they've given you alpha beta zeros okay they are the zeros of polynomial this one f of x okay uh, so we have to find that uh, and it's even given that alpha plus beta what's what's given alpha plus beta equals to alpha beta this is given to us okay now we have to find the value of p now what is the standard form of quadratic expressions x square plus b x plus see this is a linear equation two variable isn't it with quadratic now if i want to write it what is it it's in the form of p x square minus 2 x and plus 3 p this is what your thing is isn't it now what is it given first one uh, alpha beta alpha plus beta will be what it will be as per your polynomials it will be minus b by a coefficient and all right minus b by a i'll do now what is minus b minus b is minus of b so b is minus 2 so minus of minus 2 divided by p that gives me uh, that uh, minus minus gets cancelled it becomes 2 by p first one next al uh, so alpha plus beta is 2 plus p now what is alpha into beta alpha into beta will be c by a correct c by a c is 3p divided by a is p correct so p p gets cancelled out p and p gets cancelled out i get the answer as 3 correct now given that alpha plus beta is equals to alpha beta so what will be my answer that will be 2p Oh, sorry not 2 it's 2 divided by p right sorry yeah 2 divided by p will be equals to 3 so what will be the value of p p to uh, p will go over the sorry 2 will go over there it will come 2 by 3 hence the value of p is 2 by 3 answer b so option number b is your right answer okay next question if the system of equations 3x plus y is equals to 1 uh, and 2k minus 1 into x plus k minus 1 into y equals to 2k plus 1 is inconsistent then k is what inconsistent the main major hint is already given to you nothing more to understand inconsistent given write the correct uh, format of inconsistency that is a1 by a2 that is equals to b1 by b2 correct and that won't be equals to c1 by c2 correct now put the values put the correct values a1 a1 will be what a1 will be my 3 divided by a2 that is 2k minus 1 2k minus 1 now that will be equals to b1 b1 is what b1 is 1 divided by k minus 1 k minus 1 correct now that thing will not be equals to what c uh, c1 that is uh, minus 1 divided by uh, neg uh, minus 2k plus 1 why minus 2k plus 1 because that 2k will go on the other side will come minus okay 
Now, if I can do cross multiplication over here, this one I'll cross multiply. Cross multiply, so what will it become? After cross multiplication, I'll get it as 3k into 1, 3k into 1 is equals to 2k minus 1. Correct, 2k minus 1 into 1 is nothing but 2k minus 1 only, isn't it? So here, open the brackets, 3k minus 3 equals to 2k minus 1. Hmm. Now, take the variables on one side, 3k minus 2k, take the numbers on the other side, minus 1 plus 3, Mi minus 3 goes there, it will come plus. So, what will I get? 3k minus k is nothing but 1k, that is equal to minus, plus plus, uh, minus 1 plus 3, that gives me 2. So, k equals to 2, option number D is the right answer. Easy. All right. If you have any doubts, students, you can feel free to ask me in the comment section also. I'll surely reply to it. Okay. Moving to the next question. If the vertices of a parallelogram PQRS is are taken in order R P, the coordinate is given R comma four. Sorry, three comma four. Then Q is given as minus two comma three. R is given minus three minus two. Now coordinate we have to find out the fourth vertex that is S. So let's draw parallelogram first. Whenever diagrams are not given, you can draw your own. Okay. So P, Q, R, S. What are the coordinates given? P is uh, 3 comma 4. Q is minus 2 comma 3. R is minus 3 minus 2. And S we do not know. Let's take it to be X comma Y. Okay. This is your coordinate. Now, if I know that diagonals of a parallelogram in intersect each other, isn't it? Let's take this as my common point O. Now, P O and O R will be equal. S O and O Q will be equal, isn't it? Now, can we have the midpoints over here? Now, if I use as per your coordinate geometry in 10, you have studied the distance formula, isn't it? And midpoint formula. So, what will be it? I, I will write it in the form of x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. This is what you will get. Let's take x1 and you can take the opposite from so it's fine, no problem. We can take for example s is x x1 and this is x2, correct? And then uh, next, next, next one. Let's say this is y1 and y2 because they are the common joining points, isn't it? Now, let me change the color of the pen. Hmm. Now, what we will get? Next is that putting the values. Putting the values, x1 is what? x1 is x. x minus 2 by 2, comma, y plus 3 by 2. I have written the value just substituting the same values. Now they will be equal. Distance formula will be equal. So 3 minus 3 by 2. 3 minus 3 by 2. Why I am taking the value of P and R now. Taking the values of P and R now. Comma 4 minus 2 by 2. Okay. I am equating each other. Now opening brackets and all. Simplified say x minus 2 by 2. Comma y plus 3 by 2 you we can open the uh, next brackets 3 minus 3 0 by 2 and this give me 4 minus 2 2 by 2 correct 2 by 2 all right now next is what uh, let me draw some space over here next is what uh, next I will get it as that whole this uh, 2 to 2 is nothing but 1 only isn't it so what will I get and I'll transpose it to the other side. This goes to other side. I'll get it as x minus 2 by 2 equals to 0. Correct. And what will be the value of x? 2, uh, 2 goes over there. Correct. Uh, gets divided. Um, x minus 2 is equal to 0. 2 goes over there. I'll get the answer as 2. x equals to 2. Now, similarly, for y, y plus 3 by 2. What will be that? That is equals to 1. Because I can substitute the y value and x values corresponding. Correct. What will I get? A 2 goes to the other side. It gets divided. And then plus 3. That uh, plus goes there minus. Then y plus 3 is equal to 2. So yes, I'll get y as minus 1. Isn't it? So I got the values. That is 
2 comma minus 1 which is option number C. So yes option C is the right answer. Okay some questions are lengthy some are easy but you know you have to solve all of them. Okay question number 6. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. If AM and PN are the altitudes of triangle ABC and triangle PQR respectively and AB square is to PQ square is equals to 4 is to 9 then AM is to PN is what we have to find the ratio here so let's solve it so first one uh, we can just quickly draw a rough diagram isn't it we'll quickly draw one diagram this is A oh, okay no wait we will go as per the letter Z this is A B C okay then there is one altitude here m correct one more triangle p q r p q r and one more altitude okay that is p n okay that's given to us this much is given all right now what we will do is that this is also making a 90 degree right huh so 90 degree now we have to find the ratios are given to us now First of all, if it is given that uh, triangle ABC, it is similar to triangle PQR. That is given to us, right? Now, if I check, so angle B, if they both are similar, angle B and Q, they should be equal, right? So, angle B should be equals to angle Q because of both the triangles are similar to each other, isn't it? Now, if they are similar by A, A similarity, I can say that triangle ABM, ABM in this this triangle that will be similar to triangle PQN in this one because I'm matching the ang angles right. So by AA similarity I can prove it. All right. Now AA similarity. So what happens? The sides AB PQ they both will be proportional and equal. So AB by PQ it will be equals to which next one ab sorry am the altitudes by the pn similar right now what's given to us it's given that ab ab by oh sorry ab square by ab square is to pq square is 4 is to 9 so can i write it in the form of ab by pq whole square is equals to 4 by 9 i can say that so what will be ab by pq ab by pq will be nothing but take the root on the other side square goes that it will become root so 4 by 9 whole root that is nothing but 2 by 3 so we get that ab by pq is 2 by 3 so what did they ask us ab by pq is 2 by 3 now it is equals to am am by pn that is equals to ab plus pq right ab by bq right so what is that that is nothing but 2 by 3 so hence that is our correct answer 2 by 3 option number d 2 by 3 that is nothing but 2 is to 4 sorry 2 is to 3 that's our answer simple okay next question if x tan 60 if x tan 60 cos 60 is equal to sin 60 cot 60 then x is what so tan cos 60 60 is there it is looking little bit complicated but it's not believe me just put the values you have studied the complementary angle ratios isn't it just put the simple values x into tan 60 what is it root 3 multiplied by cos 60 1 by 2 correct next uh that will be equal to sin 60 that is root 3 by 2 isn't it multiplied by cot 60 that is 1 uh, sorry not root 1 by root 3 right 1 by root 3 correct now we're cancelling root 3 root 3 cancel 2 goes the 2 2 cancel so what do i get i get x multiplied by root 3 into 1 correct equals to 1 so what will i get x is equals to 1 by root 3 correct it will go this root will go over there correct root 3 now that's not in the option so but what is 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 is nothing but tan 30 degrees correct tan 30 degrees is 1 by root 3 so where is tan 30 yes so b is our right answer super easy question isn't it next question trigonometry again sin theta plus cos theta is root 2 
Then what is tan theta plus cot theta? Sin plus cos is given root 2. What is tan theta plus cot theta? We have to find, isn't it? Now, a little bit lengthy question will go simpler way. Okay, see, tan theta and cot theta. How can I write them? If I reframe them, can I write them as tan theta plus cot theta? Tan is what? Tan is nothing but sin, sin theta by cos theta, isn't it? We have studied the opposite ratios plus uh, cot theta is nothing but cos theta divided by sin theta. Reciprocal ratios, isn't it? Now, we can find the LCM. LCM will be what? LCM will be sin square theta. Then, uh, plus co uh, cos square theta divided by, sorry, cos square theta divided by sin theta and cos theta, isn't it? I found it out. Correct. Now, sin theta cos theta, they got cancelled out and what I'll get? I'll get it as 1 by sin theta cos theta. Sin theta and cos theta. Isn't it? This is what I'm getting. Now, using the relations, what can I find out? That we have to, if I do the squaring on both sides. If I square on both sides, it's given that plus cos theta equals to root 2. This is given to us. If I do squaring on both sides, on both sides I'll square it. This becomes whole square. This also becomes square. Squaring, what will I get? Now, sin theta plus cos theta whole square gives me what? A plus B whole square. So, A plus B whole square gives me A square plus B square plus 2AB. So, sin square theta plus cos square theta cos square theta cos square theta plus 2ab means 2 sin theta and uh, 2ab and cos theta okay cos theta hmm correct that is equal to what uh, root 2 whole square is nothing but 2 only got this now first one sin theta plus cos theta sorry sin square theta plus cos square theta is what we found it here that is 1 so that this whole thing is 1 plus write the thing 2 sin theta and uh, cos theta correct that equals to 2. Now if I, if I transpose the, uh, if I transport the 1 to the other side so what will happen I will get 2 sin theta cos theta equals to 2 minus 1 that is 1. So what is my sin theta cos theta? Sin theta cos theta will be equals to what 1 by 2 2 goes to the other side correct that's what we were getting so what will be my uh, sign uh, sign and cos that will be nothing but 2 correct 1 goes to the other it will be 2 so the answer is b all right now let's move to the next question of figure 1 in the given figure d e b c parallel okay d, uh, this d e BC are parallel, okay. AE is A units, A units, EC is B units, okay, B units. DE is, DE, where is DE? Acha, X units, okay, I'll erase this. Uh -huh. DE is X units and BC is Y units. Which of the following is true? There are few conditions given of X and Y, their values and all. So, we have to find out which one is true, okay. So let's try to do them. Now, first of all, can if you look over here, the lines are parallel. D, E, B, C parallel. So E and C, they're corresponding angles, right? They are corresponding angles. So, and even in triangle A, D, A, sorry, I'll draw this this way. A, D, E and B, A, C. A is the common angle. Correct. So, how can I write that angle A equals to angle A? Why? Because that is the common angle. Correct. That is my common angle. Similarly, angle, uh, what is this? E. Angle E equals to angle C. Why? Because they are corresponding angles. Correct. They are corresponding. Correct. Corresponding angles. Now, if that is equal, I prove two angles are equal. So, can I make a similarity? Yes, I can make a similarity that uh, uh, triangle ADE 
is similar to triangle ABC. Isn't it? By what? A is similarity. I proved that two triangle, two angles are equal. Now, if are equal, so I can use the sides. Side AD by AB. That will be equals to DE by BC. And that is equals to AE by a c isn't it because it's a midpoints now using that we have all the values what is it x by y x by y that will be equals to a plus a plus b correct that's given what what is x x is my d e y is my b c a is a e and a plus b means whole a c right now what will if i transpose y to the other side so x will be what y goes to the other side x becomes a y plus a plus b so hence the correct option is option number c okay clear just you have to prove the similarities now next one question number 10 more 10 questions remaining we'll try to do it quickly so uh next question is a b c d is a trapezium with a d parallel to b c okay a d is okay let's draw the figure okay uh, we'll draw the figure then we'll do the marking Let's draw trapezoid, trapezium, whatever you can say. Okay. Now, uh, we will name it as A. AD is parallel to BC. Nah? Ha, so, this will be AB, CD. So, that's given that AD and BC are parallel to one another. AD is 4 centimeter. If the diagonals AC and BD intersect each other at O. So, they both are intersecting at O. So, AC this is intersecting at o and ao by oc ao where is ao this is ao and oc they both are equals to do and ob they both are equal the ratio of them and all of them are equals to one by two the ratio one by two okay so we have to find the length of this bc what will be bc that we have to find now, already given that the, uh, the, the sides are equal, so we will write that relationship first. R uh, writing the relationship AO by OC equals to DO by OB. That is nothing but 1 by 2. That's given. Now, look over here carefully. Can you see two lines AD, BC are parallel? So, this and this are what? alternate interior angles can you see there is a z there's a z red so alternate interior angles are equal so angle one equals to angle two based on alternate interior angles okay now similarly next one this angle and this angle okay sorry i did not name it as one and two this let's say three and four Vertically opposite angles. So I can even say angle 3 equals to angle 4. That because vertically opposite angles. Isn't it? The angles are proven. Now why did I do this? Because I can use the similarity now. Isn't it? I can use the similarity by AA similarity. So angle AOD. Angle AOD is um, similar to triangle. Sorry. Angle no. Triangle AOD is similar to triangle BO. C by AA similarity, isn't it? Now, if that is equal, so it's already given that AD by BC, they will be equals to AO by OC. Now, AO by OC is nothing but 1 by 2. Correct, that's nothing but 1 by 2. So, uh, AD, will, AD by BC will be what? That will be equals to 1 by 2. Alright, and now AD is given to me as 4. So, 4 by BC equals to 1 by 2. If I cross multiply, cross multiply, what will be BC? BC will be 4 into 2. That is 8 centimeter. So, hence proven, I, I mean, hence found that the answer is C. Okay. So, it's always been 30 minutes where we have to do the, all the questions quickly, right? So, I know the question is a little bit lengthy. So, yes. If you want a break, you can just pause the video and go have some food or, you know, water. Next question. If two tangent
tangents inclined at an angle of 60 degree are drawn to a circle of radius 3 cm then the length of each tangent is equals to how much so this question all about drawing properly first one two tangents as in what i have to where tangent triangle tangent no circle tangents so let's draw circle okay circle then what's given two tangent let's say this is my one tangent this is my second tangent okay they are inclined at an angle of 60 degree 60 degree so this this whole thing is 60 correct this whole thing is 60 radius is given to me as 3 cm this is 3 cm okay now this is also right angle this is also right angle now if i can let's name this midpoint as o okay now can i draw a bisector now from this o can i draw one bisector i can bisect it correct i can bisect it after bisection what will it become bisection the 60 will go and it will become what it will become as 30 degrees 30 30 correct now we can use trigonometry over here we can see two triangles are there correct let's name this as a b c so if you see in the triangle o b c what is it it is nothing but my triangle so let's use trigonometry now angles and property uh, what will be the uh, of this angle angle o what will be the answer so this is 90 degree 90 plus 30 120 120 minus 80 gives me 60 degree so by angles and property i get 60 degree now all angles given let's take 60 Okay, now we can find tan. You can take tan of sixty also, tan of thirty also. Any you can take. Let me take tan of sixty. So tan sixty degree, tan sixty degree is what? That will be CB. Correct. That is the opposite to the perpendicular. That's my perpendicular. Sorry, and divided by mm, 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 divided by three. Correct. That's my base. CB by three. Okay. Now that is equals to. How much that will be be equals to root three because tan sixty is root three, isn't it? Now, if uh, root three is equal to so CB will be what transpose three to the other side, so it will become three root three. So three root three is the answer in centimeter. So answer is option number D. Okay, clear. That's all. This question is it just everything is based upon your. a uh, drawing how are you drawing did you understand what is the drawing all about that's it okay next question the area of a circle that can be inscribed in a square of 6 cm is very easy very easy let us draw this is a super easy question draw a square okay draw a square this is given as 6 cm now you have to draw such a circle which will touch each of its sides so that is inscription right so i'll just draw roughly it's touching all the sides right Okay, let me draw it again. So I've roughly drawn. Okay, I've roughly drawn. So what will be this thing? The whole diameter will also be six centimeter, right? The whole diameter will also be six centimeter, right? So now, what will be the radius? Radius will be half of diameter. That is three centimeter. Correct. Next, if I want to find the circumference, we have to find the area, right? So let's find the circumference to find the value of that, right? We can find the circ. No, sorry, sorry. Area we have to find. No, sorry. So area will find by the formula pi r square. Hmm. That is twenty two by seven into r square. That is. Hmm. Uh. Okay. No. Uh. In answer is given in pi, right? So let us take pi only. Okay. So we'll take here pi into three square. That is. Nine pi centimeter square. That's the answer. Option D. See, it was super easy question. Right, just the diagram you draw, solve it. Easy. So nine cent nine pi centimeter square is the answer. Question number thirteen. The sum of length, breadth, height of a cuboid is six root three. Let's write the value side by side. Length plus breadth plus height is equals to six root three. Okay. Centimeter, huh? And the length of its diagonal is two root three. Now, students, if you have studied this in your uh, surface area volume, diagonal is given by the formula L square plus B square plus H square whole root. That is diagonal. So it's given to me as two root three centimeter. Okay, next and the length of its diagonal. Okay, that's it. Total surface area of the cuboid is what? 
we have to find the total surface area tsa now what is the formula of tsa first of all tell me that ts is nothing but two times of length into breadth plus breadth into height plus height into length correct that is my total surface area so i have to find that only now let's say that if i do the squaring if i do squaring if i do length plus breadth plus height whole square what will that give me that will give me l square plus b square plus h square correct and plus 2 lb plus bh plus hl isn't it now what i want i want only this part only this part i want the value so what should i cut them no i cannot cut them i have to find the value so it's given l plus b plus h is what 6 root 3 so i can write it as 6 root 3 whole cube sorry whole square okay equals to l square plus b square plus h square is given to me as 2 root 3 but the root so we'll take the root to the other side right that will become square so uh, that is nothing but 2 root 3 whole square and plus the total surface area correct the total surface area hmm now find the value super easy right what is this this will become 6 into 3 no 6 square 6 for 36 36 into 3 that gives me 108 na no? 108 now take this 2 root 3 minus 2 to 4 4 4 into 3 12 so 12 correct so that gives me nothing but 96 so 96 is the the value of 2lb plus bh plus hl that means 96 is the surface area total surface so 96 cm square is your answer next question question number 14 if difference of mode and median of a data is 24 then the difference of median and mean is what so now difference is given that mode mode minus median mode minus median is equals to 24 now students i don't know if you have studied or not but there is a formula known as empirical formula using the empirical formula the formula states that mode that is equals to 3 times of the median 3 times of the median subtracted from 2 times of the mean that is what the empirical formula says okay if you have studied or not this is just a formula and thing uh, derivation and way no mode mode minus median is 24 so what will be mode mode i can put this median to the other side so mode becomes 24 plus median let me write it here 24 plus median that is equals to 3 times of the median minus 2 times of the mean now can i take the median to the other side yes i can take 24 minus 3 median 1 medium i will subtract it i'll get how much median i'll get 2 median so 24 equals to 2 median and uh 2 median minus 2 uh what is it mean yeah 2 mean okay now next one 2 to common over here so can i write it as Two median minus mean. Uh, sorry, um, mean. Mean, right? I can write it this way. Now, what will I get by this? Two goes to the other side. It gets divided twenty four, right? Ha. Two goes to the other side. I'll get it as median minus mean is equals to twenty four by two. That is nothing but twelve. So therefore, median minus mean is twelve. Option number B. So just you have to use this empirical formula. Mode is equal to three median minus two mean, and then you will get your answer. Okay. Next question: The number of revolutions made by a circular wheel of radius zero point two five meter in a rolling, uh, in or uh, in rolling a distance of eleven kilometer is how many revolutions are made? So first of all, this is in meter. This is in kilometer. Let's convert it to meters so 11 km is how many multiply by 1000 so 11000 kilo sorry 11000 meters isn't it now i have to find the revolutions revolutions are made by the circumference right so what will be my circumference that will be equals to 2 pi r correct the pi we can take it as uh, 22 by 7 now how many times it is made we do not know How many times it is made? We do not know. Let's take that to be x. 
सो एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू पाई आर इज अंबर ऑफ रेवल्यूशन दैट इज इलेवन थाउजेंड मीटर ओके नॉट नंबर हाउ मच डिस्टेंस इज ट्रेवल्ड Correct that much time. So x is the number of revolutions we are finding. Okay, so we can find it. X into two into twenty two by seven into the radius zero point zero two five. Zero point zero no it's zero point two only sorry. Ah uh ha. -huh. So it will be zero point two five equals to one eleven thousand. Do the cancellation. Cancellation will get it as x equals to. Two catch cancel it's ah uh, ha huh. you will get it as thousand into seven equals to seven thousand so that means seven thousand revolutions were made by the wheel so B is the correct answer five more questions remaining now question number six and for the following distribution class is given frequency is given we have to write the sum of the lower limits of the median and the model class what is the model class first of all model class the most occurring la la largest uh, frequency so this is my model class this is my okay let me write it nicely <laughs> it's not visible okay model class this is model class now We have to find the lower limits of median also. Now, what will be my medium? Find the cumulative frequency. What will be my cumulative frequency? Cumulative frequency first write ten, comma ten plus fifteen. You will do ten plus fifteen gives me twenty five. Twenty five plus twelve gives me thirty seven. Thirty seven plus twenty gives me fifty seven, and fifty seven plus nine gives me sixty. Correct. No wait, fifty seven plus nine, sixty six, right? Ha, huh? sixty six. Okay, now, ah, uh, what will be my value then? Value is nothing but the total divided by two. Total as in the last value. The total cumulative will be the last value, right? Sorry, let me take this to be n. Okay, take it to be n. So the last value, the uh, frequency total will be how much? Sixty six by two. That is equal to thirty three. Now thirty three, thirty three is not there. But I can take the range which is just higher, just higher than that. Correct. Where is it? That is thirty seven. Thirty seven is which uh, here. Thirty seven is here, right? Cumulative. So I can take thirty seven, which is just greater. That is in ten to fifteen wala class. So this becomes my oh god, let me here is too much annotations, right? Let this becomes my median class. This is my median class, okay. Median class. Now take the smaller values in the mo uh, model class. Is that so? Uh, what is the lowest value of uh, this one? Lowest value in me uh, median class is fifteen. Plus the lowest value in model is ten. So five fifteen plus ten gives me twenty five. That becomes your correct answer B. Okay. Next question. Two dice are rolled simultaneously. What is the probability that six will come up at least once? So basically, what is the probability? See, one comma one. Okay, one comma one can come. One comma two can come. One comma three can come. Then uh, one comma four can come. Correct. One comma six can come. Sorry, one comma five. Sorry, sorry. I didn't write the five. Huh. One comma five can come. And similarly, one comma six can come. Okay. Similarly, can I write for the others also? Two comma one, correct. Two comma two, correct. Keeps on going on till two comma six, correct. Similarly for three, three comma one, three comma two. Then I'll write it quickly. So here, if you see, I've quickly written all of the values. So here, if you see, one 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 two one three one four one five one six. Similarly for two three four five six also. Now we have to find out how many times will six come. What is the probability that at least one six will come? So this is my first case. One six. Here also. Here also. Here also. Here also. Similarly, in all these, how many? One two three four five five cases. I will get my value as six. Isn't it? I'll get six that many times. Hey na. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and here also one six. Okay. Now, next, how? Where will I get? Where will I get next? Here also one, two, three, four, five. So five and six. So six. Then uh, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
so minimum how many times 11 times it can come divided by total that is 36 so 11 by 36 is your probability okay next question is if phi tan beta is equals to 4 then phi sin beta minus 2 cos beta by phi sin beta plus 2 cos beta is what now phi tan beta is 4 so what will be tan beta find out tan beta tan beta will be nothing but phi goes over there becomes 4 by 5 simple now can i say tan theta now we know that tan theta right over here tan theta is nothing but sin over cos isn't it that's already known to us now let's take instead of this instead of this let's put the values of sine by cos so if i open this whole thing how can i get it as i will write it in the form of phi oh sorry phi sine beta correct phi sine beta by cos beta can i write it that i'm just simplifying it correct minus 2 cos beta by cos beta correct will not cancel it now wait we will not cancel it now divided by again 5 sin beta by cos beta and this time it is plus it's a plus also right in the below so here it will be 2 cos beta divided by cos beta now cos 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 got cancelled out what will i get here i'm getting nothing but the sin b by cos b sine sine sorry sine beta by cos beta is what it is tan only so phi tan theta phi tan theta divided by sorry tan beta na ha. sorry tan uh, beta so tan beta divided by again the same phi tan beta because here also i'm getting this tan only right tan beta but i have two more values minus two and plus 2 these two are two more things right now what can i do let's put the value of tan beta what is the value of tan beta uh, value of tan beta is already given to us as uh, 4 by 5 so 5 into 4 by 5 minus 2 whole divided by 5 into 4 by 5 my plus 2 5 5 5 5 cancelled out 4 by 4 minus 2 so 4 minus 2 is 2 4 plus 2 6 that gives me 1 by 3 correct 1 by 3 so b is a is the correct answer moving to the la uh, second last question that is question number 19 uh, uh, if product of two numbers 5780 and their hcf is 17 and lcm is 340 so 17 into 340 gives me 5780 the product and the hcf lcm is given correct so yes statement a is correct assertion is correct reason is that hcf is always a factor of lcm that's not true okay no that is true hcf will always be a factor of lcm but that's not explaining right it's the explanation is hcf into lcm will give me the answer Correct, the product, the product, the values will be HCF and LCM. But it's not telling me that why uh, that's the reason. So reason is correct, but not the correct explanation. So both the A and, to, A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation. Next question, if the coordinates of midpoint of sides A, B, A, C of triangle A, B, C are D, 3 comma 5, E, 3 minus 3 minus 3, then and B, C is 20 units. So let's make a figure of the C. Given that this is a triangle ABC, ABC, let's draw one more side that is DE, explained in the question, right? It's already there. This is 20. Okay, this is 20. Next, uh, what are the coordinates given? D is 3 comma 5, 3 comma 5, E is minus 3 minus 3, minus 3 minus 3. Okay. Now, uh, we can use the again the coordinate geometry distance formula x square minus x1, sorry not x square, x2 minus x1 whole square plus y, y2 minus y1 whole square, isn't it? That is the formula, use it over here. Let's take 3 and 5 are x2, y2 and minus 3 minus 3 are x1, y1, right? I can do that way. I'll get it as 3 plus 3 whole square plus 
फाइव प्लस थ्री वाई फाइव प्लस दिस इज माइनस 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 प्लस सो स्क्वेर दैट गिज मी ओके सॉरी होल रूट सो थ्री प्लस थ्री इज नाइन सॉरी सिक्स सिक्स प्लस सिक्स स्क्वायर इज थर्टी सिक्स प्लस फाइव इज आई एट एट इज अ सिक्सटी फोर सिक्सटी फोर होल रूट दैट गिवस मी हंड्रेड सिक्सटी हंड्रेड सो रूट हंड्रेड इज नथिंग बट टेन सो सॉरी नॉट रूट राइट टेन टेन इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस डीई डीई इज टेन यूनिट्स इज एंड डीई इज टेन यूनिट्स सो या बी सी इज ट्वेंटी यूनिट दैट गिवन करेक्टली एंड डी सी डी ई बिकम्स टेन या सो दैट्स करेक्ट इफ यू वुड बी गेटिंग एनी डिफरेंट आंसर देन इट वुड बी रॉन्ग ओके so that's correct now the line joining the midpoints of the two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and equal to half of it that is the midpoint theorem correct that is the midpoint theorem right so this is my midpoint theorem midpoint theorem so what can i say here its midpoint the line joining the midpoints of two sides is parallel to third side and half of it de de is parallel to bc and de will be equals to half of bc isn't it so yes 10 is half of 20 so yes that is also correct and it's a correct explanation so a is the right answer okay so thank you so much students we have completed with the whole section a of our uh, sample paper for maths we'll be coming up with the next uh, sections also till then make sure to like this video share to the friends subscribe to the channel if you didn't do it till now i'll be seeing you guys very soon in more upcoming videos till then take care and goodbye